back to the channel. My name is Abdullah Khan and in today's video I'm going to be discussing with you top tips on how to productively study for the 11 plus exam whilst you're preparing. Now tip number one is that you need to be able to organize your study space. Now part one mean, um, means about this is that you need to make sure that you're away from all types of distractions. This includes the family, um, phones, tablets and computers games and the best thing to do is to just study upstairs away from everyone else in a quiet environment. Part number two means that you need to be able to organize your desk or wherever you're studying. For example, removing all unnecessary, unnecessary types of textbooks and notes, making sure you have enough space for your arms and books to study. And it's imperative for you to have the correct amount of light so your eyes don't stress out while studying. And also you might just want to have a glass cup of water so you can drink it throughout um, your exercises so you feel more flexible and relaxed. Now tip number two is that you can use flowcharts and diagrams whilst explaining things to yourself because visual aids can be really helpful when revising. At the start of a topic challenge yourself to write down everything you already know about the topic and then highlight the gaps where you do things that you don't know are closer to the exam and uh, condense your revision notes on one page diagrams. Now, tip number three is a very common tip, and that is to practice on old exams. You can find these any types of old 11 plus exams or the Barnes Standard Difficulty Exam papers on the 11 plus website, which is in the link down below. And you can also um, use other types of worksheets on the topics that you don't know. For example, talking about maths, some people might be weak on algebra, some people might be weak on interpreting graphs or just probability and um, something else. Now, um, another tip is that you can explain your answers to others. So once you revise something, once you know something, for example, vocabulary and meanings, you can um, present these and test as people to test uh, ask people to test you. So for example, you can ask your parents to test you, sisters or siblings, whatever. This makes you more prepared for the exam because as we all know, vocabulary is very imperative for you for English and verbal reasoning. Now, taking regular breaks is very important as well because you don't want to study all day, um, like five hours and then take a break because that's counterproductive. This will not help you study more. It's just like saying if someone's running a marathon, they won't run a whole 24 marathon at once. They will take regular breaks. And likewise, this is the same for studying. This will help you be more productive. And if you take more breaks and you can look forward to the breaks, so you want to finish your work that you um, um, working on more productively and effectively. Now, um, eating the correct type of food before the exam is also very important. I mean, it's not a very important tip, but it still counts. For example, eating brain types of foods such as almonds and walnuts is very important because it will increase and boost up your memory and everything else will also help you. Like drinking plenty of water will help you stay relaxed and not eating too much junk food before the exam will also help. Um, now, other tips also include um, motivating yourself throughout the um, throughout your preparation. Sometimes you'll feel that the exam that you are going to take um, is going to be very difficult. But the thing you have to remember is that you have to stay on task no matter whatever the cost and you need to motivate yourself throughout the exam. Uh, make notes about yourself and also other tips are just taking notes, um, putting them around your bedroom, for example, maths, equations, non-verbal reasoning and meanings is all important. It all counts towards your 11 plus preparation. So thank you for watching this brief video on tips for how to productively study. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Q&A for the 11 plus exam, which will be later um, towards the end of the channel and also more for example tagging exam questions with me for each subject and much more thank you for watching